What is up, everybody? Potbelly Pigs for life here. Um, and today we're back with another episode of our Poseidon Aquarium in Planet Zoo. So, um, as you can see, I've, been, I've done a bit of off camera work with the polar bear enclosure. Just made it look prettier. Um, um, I changed their hard shelter to this log cabin. Um, which I think looks cool. Um, added a lighthouse and this really cool shipwreck piece. Um, um, another thing I did was added some coolers, like I said I needed to do. Um, made the enclosure a bit smaller because I don't think we needed all that for base and one thing I forgot in the last episode was the education boards for both the king penguins and the polar bears. Um yeah also um a couple of our king penguins have been reading um You've got so last time it was at six and each a penguin had one baby. Um which is normal for penguins to only have one pick at a time. Um so Sorry if you can hear my mom, she's vacuuming in the background. Um, I also did preparations for our upcoming animals. Um, and I added this um, mangrove for our saltwater crocodile. Um, so this episode we're gonna do two animals like we did last time, um, we're going to do gray seals, we are going to do the giant otters, um, so, get things started, shall we, um, I'm pretty sure that we have staff in this, um, work zone, I think, so we got okay it works on three all right yeah we're good um um so um, i think that this will be here from one two three Um, yeah, so the idea for, um, Planet Zoo is that, like, the idea is we own this, like, um, big, global, multi-million dollar company, more African penguin babies. Um, so yeah, we own this big, global company, I mean, me and you guys, um, it's called PBP Global. For PBP corporations. Of course, um, you could probably figure out what it means. Um, you know, not the most creative. I already get figured plenty of room. I just, um, to, um, um, yeah, so big multi-million dollar company that specializes in conservation and news. Uh, um, which, speaking of zoos, I cannot stress this enough. A lot, there are a lot of people in the world that think, that believe that zoos are actually 
because a lot of people in this world think that zoos are bad for animals. Um, while that may be true, well, okay, I can assure you that that is most of the time incorrect. Of course, there's the exception of roadside zoos, but they're usually, um, they're usually run by people who have no idea how to take care of exotic animals, or any animal other than a beta fish, like my, like our beta fish. Um, what zoos do is, um, what zoos do, like for example, in my region, we have the Stone Zoo and the Franklin Park Zoo. Um, but um, what most zoos do is they breed animals in captivity. Um, and then after generations, um, wait, no, hold up. Okay, let me read. Sorry. sorry. Um, what they do is they breed the animals in captivity where they're where they know for a fact. There's a zero percent chance of them getting of them getting killed by either a predator or by anyone who wants to illegally kill them or illegally depend on on, on laws. Um, and then over generations, they are released back to the wild. Um, and another thing is there are some zoos. That, like rescue animals that like orphans that can't be released into the wild like um if you've ever been to the stone zoo um their two black bears smoky and bubba um were found as orphans and because of that could not be released into the wild so um because of that the stone zoo took them in um, another, um, animal is their cougar, Blue, um, which bears a name with Blue the Raptor, in Jurassic World, which I kind of think is neat. Um, yeah, um, no, um, yeah, so, Blue... Um, Cougar was also found as an orphan, and Stonesy took him in. I think they named him Blue because, um, they brought him over on JetBlue Airlines. Yeah, I've done, um, Zoo Camp at the Stonesy years. Um, it was fun. I'm too old for it now, which is sad. Um... Yeah, um... But yeah. Yeah, um... Yeah, I highly recommend, um... Going to the Stone Zoo. They're really good to do. And they genuinely care about their animals. Um... So, another thing about their bald eagles... Is that... I'm pretty sure they had to. I think one of them passed away in the chat. Very, very easy. Um, but, um, yeah, so, um, one of them, I'm pretty sure, had to get a wing amputated, and the other one got shot through the eyes and miraculously survived, was permanently blinded, and obviously couldn't really get into the wild. Oh, this, oh, oh, this is cool. Um, oh, this is how they have, like, different colors. Um, but yeah, um, then, of course, the stones you stepped in, and put them in there, and put them under their wing, as you could say. Oh, is it? Alright, so already, I think, um, already, I think seals 
are all set with their exhibit. Because what's great is that um, if you see an environment, you live in a temperate box. A rift I'm sorry, I cannot speak. Um, they live in a temperate biome. Um, so that means their temperature is just right for them. Um, and if we go into the Zoopedia, yeah, they can handle temperature. Okay, so this is like the minimum. Oh, more, more booties. Um, I'm gonna go with that. And then we can get started on our otters. Um, otters, I think, are cool. Oh! Um, Alright, bump it up to 25. Where were we? Oh, jeez, look how many African penguins we have. I'm probably gonna release most of them. All right, source. Pause it right there. One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three. Conservation is what we're here for. Um. Source. Side aquarium, everything has those things. One, two, three. Alright, I think we're good. Okay, I think we're set. Um, yeah, um, we're all set. Um, you guys are all set. I think I'm just gonna make a jump cut to make this water. Wait, look, I forgot something. Um, I forgot that. I also made the walk, walk, water keeper for the polar bears. That way their fears would work. Um, so, I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna do a jump cut, make this water keeper so that way this underwater box feeder will work. Maybe I'll decorate it a little bit, and I'll get back to you guys in just a second. Alrighty guys, I'm back, um, I made the water enough, and I decorated it a little bit, um, I think we can safely call this exhibit finished, um, it didn't take long at all, yeah, I forgot about education board, I'll do that a little later, okay, um, we'll do that a little later, but for now, let's get our thing going otters okay get it what okay um i just need a higher staff i think work zones five habitats gariel cayman Yep, that's, um, Warp Zone 2, we're talking about, um, okay, I'm gonna do two keepers, two keepers, one mechanic, a veterinarian, three caretakers, And we'll do for security. Which staff do we have? Eleven, okay. I think they can still all fit in a um oh wait no. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Um, um, I 
Yep, alright, we're good. Um, they're gonna make a weird noise when they drop down. Great, um, you got that settled. Um, Probably gonna need to make water paper for the otters. Um, it's nothing we can't handle. Um, we just got two for now because um, they're gonna mate with each other for life, um, which we like to call monogamy, which I mentioned in episode and last episode. So we can do that now. Um, again, I'll do the education boards on my own time. Um, so I'm recording this on Wednesday. I've got too much going on. There we go. Oh no! Water's not deep enough. Um, all right. Um, so, um, oh no, heaters. Um, so, fun fact about otters, or giant otters at least. Um, so they're very social, living, um, basically, um, basically, their social behavior is basically, like, wolves. It's an alpha male and an alpha female that mate for life, but, like, humans, humans, and like I said, wolves, um, and then they live in large family groups, which most of the time... Um, which, most of the time, all the members are related to each other, so, like, sons, daughters, um, um, that have fully grown, um, and, um, I'm pretty sure, hold up. I remember looking it up because I want to learn more about it. Um, I'm pretty sure that it's the females that do the hunting, and the males that patrol the territory for any intruding otters, similar to lions. I just realized. Um, and literally, Giant otters are so overpowered. Like, like, they're so overpowered that not even jaguars want to fight with giant otters. And let me tell you, jaguars are the third, first of all, they're the third biggest cat in the world. Or the third largest biggest, no, the third largest big cat in the world. We've got the strongest bite force of any cat. Any big cat. Um, and, um, and they're the top predator in the Amazon rainforest. And yet, they won't pick a fight. They won't to pick a fight with you guys. Okay, at least the water's deep enough. Um, around. Um, 
brain's a problem, though. Um, thinking over here, since it's not going to seem to be best, we can get forested. Um, more short grass, less long grass, and more sand. Oh, they don't really... Okay. Go. Go. You s selected... I want to select sand. Oh, yeah. Um. Brain. Um. Sorry, just had a brain fart. Um. Maybe it's because my mom accidentally distracted me. Um. Yeah. It's okay, mom. It's not the end of the world. Um. So. Um, and I like sand. Sand is squishy. I um, got that from Finding Dory. That's a good, good movie. For a wide audience, for like a wide range of audience, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, so they don't mind having a lot of long grass. They just don't want the entire exhibit long grass. Um, I just realized that this video is probably going to be super short. Which is okay, because the last video was 35 minutes. And I got a lot of feedback from my dad, from my, from my dad and my cousins at... Um, videos are too long, which I definitely appreciate the feedback. Um, so of course, I'll, I'll I appreciate the feedback. Um, you guys probably won't be able to. You guys, I won't be able to give me feedback because um, comment section is disabled for videos made for kids. Kind of a bummer. Um, but nothing you can really do about it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm most likely gonna do like a bit of dirt in here. Um, then the rest will be long grass. Let's start with short grass. I'll go back. I think we're good here. Um, here. I just need some long grass. I, I think we're good. We're with terrain. Harmonious balance. And we have features, aquatic, and tropical. Um, I think I'm gonna do another jump cut and just decorate the exhibit a little bit. Um, then I'll get back to you to 
show you how it looks in the end. Alright guys, I'm back, and so this is how it turned out. Um, we've added um, some vegetation. Sure, you can see it from the outside, but you know what? It's no big deal. Just you can't. Out of sight, out of mind. Um, so, I made a little forested area. I did some coastal plants. I added some underwater plants. Next, we're on to enrichment. Um, which is also equally as important. Um, species. Giant otter. Um, so, we tray. We're going to want that. We'll put it here. Um, no way we're going to need any hard shelter. Ox. Let's get them a big mud bath. The thing about animals is that you can feel free to spoil them rotten. Um, Machine Sprinkler Little Ball Rubber Ducky Yeah, we'll put the rubber ducky by the, the river and this will go put on the beach. This deep enough? Yes! Enough. I'm gonna move it though. I'm gonna move it. Um. Habitat. One more thing. I want to add these. Now that's good. They're injured though. Uh, don't worry, the creepers take care of them. Looks so adorable though. It looks so adorable though. I want to see him swim though. So, I want to see him in the water. Well, that looks cool. That good shot right there. I want to go into the doctor because I think they're injured. Isn't this one injured too? Yeah, it is. Four. Or what's the name? Or Enrique. Yeah, it says it right here. Here we go. Now let's just check the seals first. Um, yeah, they're diving! Oh, this is so cool! Ah, oh. look at that! That looks stunning. Uh, I don't want to see your butt. I want to see you.
All right. Um, I think that's gonna conclude today's episode, guys. Um, um, next episode we'll do two of the crocodiles. I'm thinking saltwater Gariel. Um, but the next time I upload a video, I'm gonna do a new through. Um, if you can hear my brother in the background once again. Um, yeah, next time I upload a video is gonna be a new playthrough. Um, but next episode of Poseidon Aquarium, we're going to do Gariel's and Saltwater Crocodiles. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.